Hi, I'm Mike Bush. One of the reasons our results are so good. If the beam drifts along the vehicle in the direction of travel while it's firing, the gun is fooled into thinking the vehicle is traveling faster than it actually is. Just watch this. Stationary car. What do you do? Well, I have a stationary car. I've got a speed meter. Let's see how fast the car's going. Eight miles an hour. That's what enables us to do what we're here to do. starting to tick me off. 14 cameras now and have just as many days. So Monday morning, it's raining, so they shouldn't even be operating. So let's put that sign out. And let's go the other side.
see if they like this apples. Dirty slime balls. And let's go and find them, shall we? So we've got signs at the other end before people come over the rise and he catches them down the hill. Now everybody's going to drive carefully. GFL 411. You're fucked, mate. Signs either side of you. You're not getting nobody today. Let's see where I am. Rotating sign. It's people's attention. I get thank yous from people. How many people thank New Zealand Police for what they do? I'm getting two, I'm getting waves from almost every car passing by. So I might sit here for half an hour or an hour. And we'll see just exactly how many people appreciate that sign in the back.
I wonder how many people actually appreciate So the speed camera is around that bend, and as you can see on the last video, I posted the flying on the ground around there. Everybody is slowing down. It is pouring with rain, so that speed camera should not even be operating in this weather, because you get false readings on the rain. It says so in their own fucking operator's manual. And so we have this sign here, rotating. And I believe everybody's quite happy that they're being tipped off and warned. Rain's died off a bit. Just gonna go and see if he's decided to fuck off yet or if he's still there. My guess is he'll wait till 10 o'clock before he disappears. Because they park there by hour by hour, or every quarter of an hour is their time slots that they like to write on their speed camera deployment registers. There's all the new subdivision getting created in Waimaki. Is he bugger all or is he still there? Still there? people slowing down at the sign the other way Well, New Zealand police, everybody's on to you. Wonder why. being warned to slow down instead of being in the pocket for it. And in case you're curious, yeah, 2019. I've decided to up my game a little bit. You 
get out there more and warn people more because it's just getting beyond the joke. 22nd of December, I noticed the first speed camera in about six months out here. Since that time, 14 speed cameras and it's only the 13th or 14th of, uh, well, 14th of January. So what's that, 22, 23 days? 14 speed cameras. That's beyond the fucking joke. And that's in just Kumu, Woodhill, and here. So, enough's enough. Stop trying to fucking screw everybody out of their money. And stop acting unlawfully by parking your speed cameras on blind corners. Your own speed camera operator's manual says you must have 250 metres clear visibility on straight roads or slight inclined roads. That you should have 100 metres visible audio tracking history of every infringement you issue. Not to mention the fact that the speed camera is parked less than 200 metres away from a temporary 30k area. Alright, now they might say they're doing that because there's workmen in the area and they're making sure everybody slows down. But what the fuck do you think I'm doing? Hmm? Still exactly the same outcome, people slow down. Is anybody getting hurt in the pocket for it? No. New Zealand police you'd be better off getting a group of people to do shit like this instead of wasting millions of dollars issuing speed infringements so I'm saving New Zealand police money I'm saving the people getting stung the tickets money I'm keeping the speed down without very little effort <laughs> and the only people not making money are the blood sucking frickin lawyers in court defending all of these trumped up fucking things where is the injury? Where is the harm, loss or injury caused by someone doing 4k over a speed limit in a 50k area? There isn't any. And you might say, yes, people get hit by cars. Bad shit happens all over the world. Everyone shouldn't get penalised for the occasional idiot. End of. Just like police say, oh, we're not all bad. But there's always a bad, couple of bad ones that spoil the group for everyone else. Cops, parking wardens, you all get a bad name because of fuckwits that don't follow their own procedures. Anyway, enough of this. Going up on YouTube, so I better watch my P's and Q's, eh? See ya. for this morning because it's just too fucking wet. Oh we'll be back. Bye.